Amen. Glory to you, God, sword, peace, love, and peace, and comfort, and spirit, and truth. Our ever precious for the salt beings, treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide with us and give us a step in your deep favor of the Lord of love. Will we God only might be fully more holy than us? Will we God only might be fully more faultless than us? Will we God only might be fully more faultless than us? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to these things, Amen. Most holy should be heaven and tell us, Lord, thanks for my sins, not so kind of transgressions, for the one who is with you are the first of any sin. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to these things, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and our past is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Maybe this lot of temptation but the divine, so we need the Lord to be in the kingdom of the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever in the days of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever in the days of ages. Amen. Come let us worship God our King. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ our King our God. Come let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King our God. Hear just how the Lord has come to my time, and keep me up there from the spirit of sin. Let my sentence come forth from thy presence, that the night be full of things that are just. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me to come to the place in me. I am perfect, set me not to come after the stress. And my mouth is not sin in the manner of man. By the word of God that is that I never saw from the times of the Bible. Thy steps are so fast when I pass, and my feet without stumble. I have called upon thee, thou hear me, O God, and upon thy name maintain thy words. Show thy bar for its loving kindness, or thy name saves by the right hand of the good grass to me from those who are set against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of my wings. The wicked that it comes to me from my heavenly enemies should come to me above. Take those that are sleeping with the mouth, they speak arrogantly. They fly fainting and are aware of every side, and bring the rest to the ground. Like a lion, they could prepare that the other lion were to the enemy. The rise of fortune comes and cast me down. Deliver my soul from the bitter side of thy sword. For men by the hand of the Lord, men of the world, and of the fortune of this life, and his belly off for those by heaven. That are blessed with many sons, and these are children who have spent their substance. As for me, I'll give them a little bit of my For that way, I catch all these eyes out of my confidence. Let me, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh, my God, I trust in you. Let me know that the Lord gave me a lot of my strength over me. I love that I should be a lot of shame here. Let me be ashamed to break the end of God's. For show me that it is, Lord, and should I have. We do that you teach me, God, I see it is to be from me all the day long. Now remember, O Lord, that you return by love and kindness, for our faith is from the whole. Now we don't want to do this, but I need to be like, mercy, and never leave the lady in the day of the Lord. Then I pray this, O Lord, that for the teach me this way, and the people that guide each other, and the people that teach me this way, all the paths of the Lord and mercy and truth, and the people that discover me, and the people that discover me, and the people that discover me, and the people that discover me. For this great sea, how you do it? Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall be instructed in the way that he shall choose. The soul shall delight in the instruction of the Lord. The presence of the Lord shall be so secure him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, and he shall help me out of the net. For thou may not hurt somebody, for I will afflict it. The sorrows of the heart are many, bringing out my distress. Consider my affliction, my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, if there are many, they hate me with a fire of hatred. Keep my soul to deliver me, I do not be ashamed, for I take refuge in thee. I declare thee that darkness deserves me, for I wait on thee. For he, Israel, O God, are the ball of struggles. And there's only a God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, go out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, my sins are the reporting. Yet see the only of thy sin, and God only see gold thy sight, and thou mayst cause just and thy sickness to upright in thy judgment. Behold, thou brought forth from the iniquity, and thou seeks to remember to see me. Go, thou dost collect sincerity, and shalt make me to understand wisdom in the depths of my heart. For shame and stuff, and I shall be clean. 
watching that chubby heart of its young, letting the weirdest arms destroy diamonds that the broken child's broken made a choice. I bet that case of my sins, the blood up on my knees, breaking a kid's heart with eyes, and a real great spirit within me. Passing not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore me to joy thy salvation, and look for me to the Lord's spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sin shall be worthy to thee. Deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall say to God of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thy lips, and the mouth shall shut forth thy praise. Thou hast no delight in sacrifice, and thou brought me down for a doubt, and thou hast not the sacrifice of God is broken spirit, and the humble people are humble now, and thou not despise. We give this iron in thy good pleasure, the only news of all the fierce slumber. Then shalt thou be beat, then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, the burnt offering of salvation, then shall thou both be offered on thy altar. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the age of Amen. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to your God. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. O Lord, save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Grant victory and sort out the victories over their adversaries. And by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Let the heavens choice, let the earth be glad. And the Lord has shown strength to his arm, which trampled down death by death, and has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, and has granted the world great mercy. Now and ever unto the stages, Amen. Thou bear for us every true body, and for us fruit and life. And truly we beseech thee, O God, with the apostles of all the saints, to have mercy on our souls. Blessed be the Lord God, blessed be the Lord always. The God of our salvation shall prosper us. For our God is the God of salvation. For the God who may not be who may more for your sinners. For the God who may not be who may more for your sinners. For the God who may not be more for your sinners. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Now that the next day is safe, it's Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, help us in our sins. Master of fire, transgressions. Holy Lord, this is the honor of the release of any sin. For the mercy, Lord, of mercy, Lord, of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the age of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever in the ages of ages. Amen. Now the flaming sword will offer across the gates of paradise. The answer is wondrously Christ by the wood of the cross. The sting of death and the victory of hell have been vanquished. For thou, O my Savior, this is coming prior to those in hell, and for again into paradise. Lord of mercy, 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 by the mercy of God, mercy of mercy of God, mercy of mercy of God, mercy of mercy of mercy of God, mercy of God, mercy of God, mercy Thou for every season and every hour, in heaven on earth, our worship be glorified in Christ for God, long suffering, merciful, compassionate, who love us and just and shows mercy upon the sinner, who call us all the salvation to the cause of darkness to come. The Lord of this hour has given us supplications to break down us, for his right commandments. Thank you for our souls, our bodies, Christ for God, to cut their minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Help us us to find all the angels that gather in the garden by the hills. You may attain to the unity of the faith, the knowledge of our inestimable glory. <coughs> Thou art blessed unto the age of the angels. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the age of the ages. Amen. Lord, I'm going to be cherubim, the more glorious God, the terror of the seraphim. Without touching my gifts, it's with the God of word. Sure, they have not those who magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, bless Master. In the prayers of our holy knights, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, has mercy on us. Amen. O God Almighty, Father, Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, and thou, Holy Spirit, and the divinity of power, have mercy upon me, and sinners, and the court of God, the body, and the Savior, and the glory of your servant. For blessed art thou, and praise the Savior. Amen.
Kamala Sushi got our team, Kamala Sushi fall down the four cracks, our king and our god, Kamala Sushi fall down the four cracks himself, our king and our god, and your god by the name, and vindicate you by the night, hear my prayer, our god, give ears your words to my mouth, for strangers are risen up against me, and violent men seek my life, they have not set out before their eyes, behold, God is my helper, the Lord is the upholder of my life, he will equate my enemies with people, and I shall destroy them, I will freely sacrifice them to thee, I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has been confined in my enemies. To be as my prayer, O God, and find not thyself in my supplication. Attend to me and answer me, I am one in anguish and in trouble. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they bring down evil upon me, and in anger they revile me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, O oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. Though then I would wander far away and remain in the wilderness. Swiftly would I seek refuge for myself from the raging wind and tempest. Destroy their tongues, O Lord, and divide them, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go round about its walls, wickedness and sorrow are within it. Injustice is within its midst, the sea and guile would part off in its streets. Were it an enemy who insults me, I could have borne it. Were it my adversary who rose up against me, I would have hidden myself from him. But it was thou, my equal, my companion, and my friend, with whom I kept pleasant company and walked in the house of God. May death come upon them, and may they go down into Sheol alive, for wickedness is in their dwellings and in their midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning, and at noon I will pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He will deliver me in peace from them that assail me, for many are against me. God will give you an humble ground, for he has been from of old, for there is no change in them, and they do not fear God. He shall stretch forth his hand against his fellow, he is broken faith. The speech of his mouth was smooth than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were sharp as drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and deceit shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge, my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. For he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He will cover thee with his pinions, and under his wings shalt thou find refuge. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Though a thousand fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, it shall not come nigh thee. But th with thine eyes thou shalt behold and see the recompense of the wicked. For the Lord is my refuge, thou hast made the most high thy defense. There shall no evil befall me, nor shall any plague come near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all his ways. In their hands they shall bear thee up, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the ass and the viper, the lion and the dragon shalt thou trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever unto the ages of ages, Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God, Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, he has granted the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save thy people, bless thy inheritance, grant victory, forth thy Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. As we lack courage because of the multitude of our sins, and just yield over to help us with thy Son, who now is born, for the Master will be moved by his mother's prayer. Despise not our old venerable lady the petitions of us sinners, for he who has consented to suffer for us is most born able to save us. Let thy compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God, of our salvation for the glory of thy name, deliver us, and forgive our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, from us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, did sin, heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <clears throat> Amen. Now the flaming sword no longer guards the gates of paradise, and if then wondrously quenched by the, by the word of the cross, the sting of death and the victory of hell, then vanquish for thou, O my Savior, this coming prize to those in hell, enter again into paradise. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of Son of our Lord Jesus Christ, and thy Holy Spirit, enable him to walk in all thy commandments and to fulfill those things which are well pleasing unto thee. For if a man do those things, he shall find life in them, and inscribe them in thy book of life, and unite him to the flock of thine inheritance, and may thy holy name be glorified in him. Together with that, of thy beloved Son of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of thy life praying Spirit, let thine eyes ever regard him with mercy, and let thine ears attend to the voice of his supplication. Make him to rejoice in the work of his hands, and in all his generation, that he may render praises unto thee, he may sing, to worship and glorify thy great and exalted name, always all the days of his life. For all the powers of heaven sing praises unto thee, and thine is the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. upon the tree to triumph over the adverse powers. When the sun was darkened and the earth be quaked, and the graves were opened, and the bodies of the saints arose, who also by death annihilated death and overthrew him who exercised the dominion of death that is in the devil. I charge you by God to reveal the tree of life and array the ranks of cherubim and the flaming sword which turns all ways to guard it. Be under man, for I charge you by him who walked upon the surface of the sea as if it were dry land and laid under his van the tempests of the winds, his might strikes up the deep, and his interdict makes the mountains melt away. The same now to us puts you under van. Fear be gone and depart from this creature, and return not again. Rather, neither hide yourself from him, neither seek to meet him, nor to influence him, neither by day or by night, either in the morning or in the day, but depart hence to your own infernal abyss until the great day of judgment which is ordained. Never gone. Who sits upon the chair of him and looks upon the deeps, before whom tremble angels and archangels, thrones and minions, principalities, authorities, powers, and many eyed cherubim and the sixth and seventh, before whom likewise heaven and earth can quake, the seas and all that they contain. Be God and depart from the seal, and you may enlist the glory of Christ our God. For I charge you by him who rides upon the wings of the wind, and makes the angels spirits and his ministers of flame and fire. Be God and depart from this creature with all your powers and your angels. For glorified is the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Come 
allowed to manage and utilize it for a second time to take them before I acknowledge the payments of your mileage and how power you build this line. All to my table at your request, and that you can then agree to the heart of this line. Your God, my most decreed here, has established upon the waters, who has made the heavens and has set the mountains into a line, and the vows of the measure of his fixed the bounds of the sands of the sea, and a firm path upon the smoking waters. He touches the mountains with his smoke, he clothes himself with light as with a garment, he spreads out the heavens like a curtain, and covers his exceeding high place with the waters, who has made the earth so clear upon its foundations that it shall never be moved. He gathers the water of the sea and pours it out upon the face of the whole earth. He got it apart from him who has made himself ready for holy illumination. I charge you by the redeeming passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by his precious body and blood, and by his fearful coming again, for he shall come and shall not tarry to judge the whole earth, and he shall chastise you and all your hosts with burning Gehenna, committing you to outer darkness, where the wind does not cease and the fire is not quenched. For Christ our God is the dominion with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, Israel, will heal us every malady and every infirmity. Look upon thy servant, prove him, and search him, and root out of him every operation of the devil. Rebuke the unclean spirits and expel them, and purify the works of thy hands, and exerting thy trenchant life, speedily crush down Satan under his feet, and give him victory over the same, and over his unclean spirits. And having obtained mercy from thee, he may be made worthy to partake of thy own mysteries. And may ascribe unto thee glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 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 Lord for the world through the incarnation of thy Christ, and thou the same Lord, delivering also this thy creature from the bondage of the enemy, receive him into thy heavenly kingdom, open the eyes of his understanding, that the illumination of thy gospel may shine brightly in him, assigned to his life, an angel of light, who shall deliver him from every snare of the adversary, from encounter with evil, from the demon of new day, and from evil thoughts. from him every evil and unclean spirit which hides and makes his in his heart. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit which hides and makes his in his heart. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit which hides and makes his in his heart. The spirit of the same the spirit of evil, the spirit of idolatry, the very covetousness, the spirit of falsehood, and the very unclean which operates in the body of the devil, to make him a reason and doubt sheep in the holy body of Christ, an honorable member of thy church, a consecrated vessel, a child of the life, and an heir of thy kingdom, and having lived in the forest of thy commandments and preserved in the of the seal, and kept his garment and defiled, and may receive the blessings of the saints in thy kingdom. Works and all his angels and all his servants. I do renounce Satan. You renounce Satan and all his works and all his angels and all his service and all his pride. I do renounce Satan. You renounce Satan and all his works and all his angels and all his service and all his pride. I do renounce Satan. Have you renounced Satan? Have you renounced Satan? Have you renounced Satan? Have you renounced Satan? Breathe and spit on him. Unite yourself to Christ. Unite yourself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have I united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Do you believe in him? I believe in him as the kingdom of God. I believe in one God, the power almighty. I believe in heaven and of all saints visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten. Begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, of whom all things were made, who 
who for us men were born of salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate in the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became man. And he was crucified for us and upon his family, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended to heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with the glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is to worship the glory of life, who is dwelt by the prophets, and the unholy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I long for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Have you united yourself to Christ? I have united myself to Christ. Bow down before him. Before the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as written in the one and the Son of the Blessed is God who desires that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, now and ever and unto ages of ages. of thy holy baptism, put off from him the old man, and renew him unto life everlasting, and fill him with the power of thy Holy Spirit, in the unity of thy Christ, that he may be no more a child of the body, but a child of the kingdom, through the good will and grace of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of above, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the Holy Church of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that this water may be sanctified with the power and effectual operation and descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that there may be sent down into it the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Walker, the purifying operation of the supersubstantial trinity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be illumined by the light of understanding and piety and by the descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That this water may prove effectual unto the averting of every snare of enemies, both visible and invisible, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he who is baptized therein may be made worthy of the kingdom incorruptible, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For him who is now come unto holy baptism and for his salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he may prove himself a child of the light and an heir of eternal good things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he may be a member and partaker of the death and resurrection of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he may 
preserved his baptismal garment in the earnest of the Spirit, pure and undefiled unto the dread day of Christ our God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that this water may be to him a labor of regeneration unto the remission of sins and a garment of incorruption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Lord God will hearken unto the voice of our petition. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. That he will deliver him and us from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. We are reading our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Mother of God, and on all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. Great art thou, Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. Great art thou, O Lord, and marvelous are thy works, and there is no word which suffices to him thy wonders. For thou of thine own good will hast brought unto being all things before that which before were not, and by thy might thou dost uphold creation, and by thy providence thou dost order the whole world. When thou hast joined together the universe out of four elements, thou didst crown the circle of the year with four seasons. Before they tremble all the powers endowed with intelligence. The sun sings unto thee, the moon glorifies thee, the stars meet together before thy presence. The light obeys thee, the deeps tremble before thee, the water springs are subject unto thee. Thou hast spread out the heavens like a curtain, thou hast established the earth upon the waters, thou hast set round about the sea barriers of sand, thou hast shed abroad the air for breathing, the angelic powers serve thee, the choirs of archangels fall down in adoration before thee, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim as they stand round about and fly, veil their faces with fear before thy ineffable glory. For thou who art God, inexpressible, existing, uncreated before the ages, and ineffable, didst descend upon earth, and didst take on the semblance of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man. For, because of the tender compassion of thy mercy, O Master, thou couldst not endure to behold mankind oppressed by the devil, but thou didst come and didst save us. We confess thy grace, we proclaim thy mercy, we conceal not thy gracious acts. For thou hast delivered the generation of our mortal nature. By thy birth thou didst sanctify a virgin's womb. All creation magnifies thee and hast revealed thyself. For thou, O our God, hast revealed thyself upon earth and hast dwelt among men. Thou didst hallow the streams of Jordan, sending down upon them from heaven thy Holy Spirit, and didst crush the heads of the dragons who lurked there. Wherefore, O King, who lovest mankind, come thou now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of thy Holy Spirit. Wherefore, O King, who lovest mankind, come thou now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of thy Holy Spirit. Therefore, O King, who lovest mankind, come thou now and sanctify this water by the indwelling of thy Holy Spirit. And grant unto it the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan. Make it a fountain of incorruption, the gift of sanctification, the remission of sins, the remedy of infirmities, the final destruction of demons, unassailable by hostile powers, filled with angelic might. Let those who would ensnare thy creature flee far from it, for we have called upon thy name, O Lord, and it is wonderful and glorious and dread unto adversaries. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of thy cross. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of thy cross. Let all adverse powers be crushed beneath the sign of the image of thy cross. We pray thee, O God, that every aerial and obscure phantom may withdraw itself from us, and that no demon of darkness may conceal himself in this water, and that no evil spirit which instills darkening of intentions and rebelliousness of thought may descend into it with him who is about to be baptized. But do thou, O Master of all, show this water to be the water of redemption, the water of sanctification, the purification of flesh and spirit, the loosing of bonds, the remission of sins, the illumination of the soul, the labor of regeneration, the renewal of the spirit, the gift of adoption to sonship, the garment of incorruption, the fountain of life. For thou hast said, O Lord, wash and be clean, put away evil things from your souls. Thou hast bestowed upon us from on high a new birth through water and the spirit. Wherefore, O Lord, manifest thyself in this water, and grant that he who is baptized therein may be transformed, that he may put away from him the old man which is corrupt 
through the lusts of the flesh, and that he may be clothed upon with the new man, and renewed after the image of him who created him, that being buried after the pattern of thy death and baptism, he may in like manner be a partaker of thy resurrection, and having preserved the gift of thy Holy Spirit and increased the measure of grace committed unto him, he may receive the prize of his high calling, and be numbered with the firstborn whose names are written in heaven, and thee are God and Lord of Jesus Christ. For unto thee are due glory, dominion, honor, and worship, together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, and that all holy and good and life in spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. the token of reconciliation and salvation from the flood, the foreshadowing of the mystery of grace, and is provide the fruit of the olive for the fulfilling of thy holy mysteries. For thereby dost fill them who are under the law with thy Holy Spirit, and dost perfect them that are under grace. Bless also this holy oil with the power and operation and indwelling of thy Holy Spirit, that it may be an anointing unto incorruption, an armor of righteousness to the renewing of soul and body, to the averting of every assault of the devil, to deliverance from all evil of those who shall be anointed with it in faith, or who are partakers thereof, unto thy glory and the glory of thy only begotten Son, and of thine all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. servant of God Mark is baptized in the name of the Father. Thank you. 
Deus of my sin. Therefore, as everyone who is starting out a prayer to me, as a time of distress, in the rush of painful elements, they shall not be in him. Thou art a high place for me. Thou preservest me from trouble. Thou dost encompass me with deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curved with faith and pride, else it will not keep with you. Many are the pains of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds him who trusts in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice the righteous, and shout for joy on you. salvation in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. salvation through the revelation of thine only begotten Son and our God, and who has given unto us and worthy that we be blessed purification through hallowed water and divine sanctification through life-giving chrismation, who now also has been graciously pleased to regenerate thy servant that has newly received illumination by water and the Spirit, and has grant unto him remission of sins, whether voluntary or involuntary. Do thou the same master, compassionate King of kings, grant also unto him the seal of the gift of thy holy and almighty and adorable spirit and participation in the bo holy body and precious blood of thy Christ. Keep him in thy sanctification, confirm him in the orthodox faith, deliver him from the evil one and from all his workings, and preserve his soul in purity and righteousness through the saving fear of thee that he may please thee in every deed and word and may be a child and heir of thy heavenly kingdom. For thou art our God, the God who does show mercy and save, and unto thee do we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We all respond with Amen to this. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the
Christ, and by the Spirit of our God, you are baptized. You are illuminated. You have been persuaded. You are sanctified. fashioned him with a reason and doubt soul and a comely body for the body serves the reason and doubt soul for thou didst set the head on high and didst endow with the chiefest portion of the senses which nevertheless impede not one another and thou hast covered the head with hair that it be not injured with the changes of the weather and hast fitly joined together all his members that with them all he may give thanks unto thee the great artificer thou the same master through thy chosen vessel the apostle paul has given us a commandment that we should do all things to thy glory Bless now thy servant, Mark, who has come unto thee to make a first offering shorn from the hair of his head, and likewise his sponsors, and grant that they may all exercise themselves in thy law, and do those things which are well-pleasing in thy sight. For thou art a merciful God, who lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. goodness to sanctify them who believe on thee. Bless this child your present, and let thy blessing descend upon his head. And as thou didst bless David the king by the hand of thy prophet Samuel, bless also the head of thy servant Mark by the hand of me, a sinner, inspiring him with thy Holy Spirit, that as he increases in stature and even unto a ripe old age, he may ascribe glory unto thee, and behold the good things of his all the days of his life. For unto thee are all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In the name of the Father, Amen, and of the Son, Amen, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. of sins of the servants of God, Alexander and Zoya, the sponsors, and for the newly illumined servant of God, Mark. That he may be kept in the faith of a pure confession in all godliness and the fulfilling of the commandments of Christ all the days of his life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou art a merciful God, who lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The servant of God, Mark, is church, in the name of the enters into thy house to worship toward thy holy temple. The servant of God, Mark, is churched in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the midst of the church shall he sing praises unto thee. The servant of God, Mark, is churched in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Master. salvation Christ our true God through the prayers of his most pure mother by the might of the precious and life creating cross of the holy glorious apostle and evangelist Mark and all the other holy glorious and all laudable apostles of the holy and righteous ancestors of God joking and on and of all the saints have mercy us and save us for he is good and loves mankind Amen. the Lord a prosperous and peaceful life health and salvation and furtherance in all present things to thy servant the newly illumined child mark his sponsors zoya and alexander his parents and family and all those gathered here in this joy and preserve them for many years god grant them many years god grant them many years god It's especially poignant on this Feast of the Cross. I'll speak more about that in the homily today. But in a sense, Mark has gone through his personal cross and resurrection today in the same way that each of us is renewed at every baptism and especially at this Feast of the Cross. So we wish for Mark many more such celebrations and a fruitful journey. I was telling the family before the service that there's so much symbolism you could spend you could write books and books and people have on this, but one little aspect that's very beautiful and important, I think, is there's a whole microcosm of life. The baby starts at the very back of the church, in the world. If we had a, a vestibule that was like a porch outside the church, we'd even start there, and then kind of gradually moves to the middle of the church, and then to the very iconostasis itself, kind of symbolizing that journey that each of us goes through in our life, no matter how long it is. So we wish for a good long life for Mark and, and many blessings for all of you. The Divine Liturgy will start in a couple of moments. What a mercy, 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 what Long-suffering, to may change the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thine ineffable glory without what the creation of the babies. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the age of the babies. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond the cherubim and seraphim. Without corruption, I may be supposed to be God the Word, through the power of those who magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, the last Master. Praise the Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, and Lord of hosts, author of all creation, who in thy compassion and incorruptible mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, first, and by thy precious cross, as thou shorn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumph over the prince and powers of darkness. O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and ruinous transgression, and from all visible and invisible enemies who seek to do us harm. Nail our flesh to the fear of thee, and not let not thy heart, our hearts and mind evil words and thoughts. But wound our souls with thy love that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee the ineffable and everlasting light. We may send up unceasing praises and thanks to thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, and thy most holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen.
a search of us and give her blood. Come and abide in us and cleanse us every purity and save our souls for the blood. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and welfare of men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and welfare of men. Lord, open not my lips and my mouth and shall be born thy praise. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages and ages. Praise the Lord. 
to my God will I have been with not your trust in princes and sons of men in whom there is no salvation when his breath departs he returns to his earth on that very day his friends perish the Remember us also in my kingdom. 
Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. By life we gave Mary of our disgrace as God, and red blood to those who lay dead in hell. And as thou art good, thou hast poured forth in corruption to us, whoever cry in faith, remember us also in thy kingdom. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my sake. O oh, ye faithful, let us cry aloud with joy, and sing triumphantly to God, as we greet the cross of the Lord, for it is a fountain of holiness to all the world. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is the reward in heaven. The words of the psalmist are fulfilled, for see we worship at the footstool of thy most pure feet, O Lord of powerful, at the precious cross of Christ's blessed Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We kiss the holy cross, O Christ, which thou was pleased to bear upon thy shoulders, on which thou was accepted to be lifted up and crucified in the flesh, and from the grief we see strength against our invisible enemies. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O you free from Greatest wonder of all wonders was revealed in me. For thou hast born the Lamb that takes away the sin of the world. Entreat and pray and make for those who sing thy praises. Wisdom, let us attend. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to thee. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
sacrifices for sins. He is able to have compassion on the ignorant and erring, since he himself also is beset with weakness. Because of this, he is bound to offer sacrifice for his own sins as well as for those of the people. And no one takes this honor on himself, but he is called by God as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself with the high priesthood. It was appointed by him who said to him, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, as he says also in another place, Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek. Peace be unto thee who reads. And the thy spirit, the need of hallelujah. Amen. Whosoever 
Spirit desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the Gospels will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Assuredly, I say to you that there are some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present with power. carpets are open uh, to all. We are, we are called to surround the Holy Cross as, as, as one assembly. This week, maybe it feels really hard to believe, or maybe it feels that it's already here, or maybe it feels hard to believe that we're only here, but we're at the middle point of the great saving holy 40 days of the fast. We mark this by celebrating the veneration of the precious and life-giving cross on this Sunday. We Orthodox Christians take the cross pretty seriously. Some of, the, of you have heard me tell a story that made quite an impact on my adult life. When a few years ago, well maybe it was more than a few years ago now, I was serving with the Metropolitan in Kodiak, Alaska on Spruce Island. I'd been flown from New York and so forth. And after the great big, you know, hierarchical liturgy, an imposing Aleutian elder came up to me and said, without any small talk, by the way, no pleasantries, just kind of pointed his finger at me and exclaimed, the elders taught us to make the sign of the cross properly. I was rather startled, but he had observed me not making the sign of the cross carefully enough. I had been taking it for granted, so I learned that day that it's important every couple of years to remind myself and all of us here, including our little children, that we stand or we sit up and make the sign of the cross carefully, starting with our foreheads in large motions, clear ones, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The cross is a big deal for us. With the cross, Jesus Christ has turned everything upside down. He took an instrument of death and turned it into an instrument of life. He upended the human experience of life and death. Perhaps you remember that when we began the great fast together here in the church, one of the themes was how Adam had to leave the Garden of Eden, and in so doing lost access to the Tree of Life that God had planted there. And since then, our lives have been obsessed with death. Everywhere we look, humans are looking for life in all the wrong places. A skin cream, a mindfulness technique, a pill, a political system, an injection, whatever. But none of these things really give us life. Instead, the cross has become for us the source of life. So halfway through the fast, the Holy Fathers plant the cross in the middle of the church as a strengthening for us as we continue to persevere in the fast. And while that sounds pious enough, it's important to remember how counterintuitive the good news is. We need to be honest with ourselves about our doubts and about the questions we have around our own existence. The word of the cross is something that is inherently scandalous, something that is messy. It's okay for the cross to be difficult. 
When Jesus Christ suffered and died on the cross, the cross was the symbol of the raw power of the human mind to use force to control and to hurt. The Roman Empire perfected this tool to make people publicly suffer, not quickly, not to just like put them to death, but to suffer as long as possible while killing them, but not actually all the way killing them. And Jesus Christ took that raw instrument of horrible torture, suffering, and death. And this is really important to say, he endured those awful things. He did the hard work of taking all suffering and sin onto the cross. The work is done. As we will hear during the Passion Gospels on Thursday night during Holy Week, it is finished. As the Hebrew, reading to Hebrews pointed out today, this makes him the ultimate priest. By first enduring all suffering and then ascending, he is able to sympathize with us whenever we suffer from anything. This gives us great hope even when we face incredible challenges. Jesus knows what the cross means when he says to us very specifically and individually, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. When he said this to baby Mark at his baptism this morning, Christ already knows what Mark's cross is and what following him would mean for Mark. He doesn't say to us, pretend your cross is nothing more than a distraction and follow me. He doesn't say, your cross isn't so bad, just think about mine. He doesn't say, look at the cross she has, yours isn't so bad in comparison. No, each of us has to do the work to pick up the cross she or he has and follow Christ. And picking up our cross is not something pleasurable. Let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The message of the gospel is challenging and requires us to look at our life and our death in a way that seems crazy to the world around us. Let's go back to the words of the Savior. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's loses his life for the good news's sake. You have to like hear what he's really saying. We'll save it. What does that mean for me? What does it mean for you? I know one thing. All of us here today can think of at least one way in which we could be more faithful in denying ourselves and following Christ. And for many of us, much of the time, taking up my cross and denying myself just means letting go, letting go of the idea that I'm in charge of my own destiny, that I can fix my problems, challenges, temptations, addictions by myself. And we are called to let go of an idea that is sometimes very close to us, that my life here is what really matters the most for me. This is at the core of the baptism that we witnessed this morning, that we each experience. Little Mark, and each one of us has joined himself to the cross, which means joining to what happened on the cross, the rejection and crucifixion of Christ, and of course, his death. And in coming out of the water, up from the water, little Mark and each one of us has joined himself to the resurrection. So in baptism, we declare it, we declare it to be a lie, that it is this life, this 80 or 60 or 10 years here that matter the most. It may be hard to believe, and even harder to live, but the reality, the truth, is that you or I have already experienced death and newness of life, the real life that we receive through the life of a cross. I mentioned earlier that it's understandable that this word of the cross is difficult. It's okay, it's supposed to be hard. We are created to have brains and the intellectual capacity to think about these hard issues, to wrestle with them, to wrestle with the idea of life and death 
and suffering and salvation and what that all might mean. But we also use all of our capacity to gather as church and to hear from the eyewitnesses of the Son of Man, the Son of God, witnesses of what happened when he was lifted up on his cross and what happens for us. In the first line of today's reading to the Hebrews, Paul begins by saying, seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. Through the cross, we are able to confess what we actually truly know, that there is a resurrection, that there is a judgment, that there are good gifts from God all around us, that Christ is God and that our faith is the truth. As we continue through this second half of the fast, let's strive to follow Christ's commandments to deny himself, to, to deny ourselves, to take up our cross and follow him. Following him really is the only way to go. It's like if all the GPSs in the world were pointing the right way, it would be only to him. In fact, it's the definition of what we say our identity is as a Christian. Let's find ways in these last saving days of the fast to encourage our brothers and sisters by being quietly present with each other and professing our faith together in word, song, and deed as we walk into what we know is actually danger and risk. We go on this path courageously knowing that our high priest, Jesus Christ, was lifted up on his cross and descended from his cross for us and for our salvation. He has done the work saving us. We know that he can sympathize with whatever cross we find ourselves bearing. Let us therefore go boldly to the throne of grace that we may find grace to help us in all of our times of need. Amen. Amen. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Holy and all the <coughs> to those who 
those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present, who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Have
Rule for us, men, and for our salvation, kingdom from heaven. And was incarnate in the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became mild. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and was buried. And the third day he was again according to the Scriptures. And ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the cross. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world.
and thy the sinners also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou in truth, and all holy and are bound to the majesty of thy holiness. Thou art holy also in all thy works, for thou hast brought all things to pass for us with righteousness and true judgment. For thou didst form man by taking dust from the earth, and didst honor him with thine own image, O God, that we send into the paradise of delight, promising immortal life, and the enjoyment of eternal good things and the observance of thy commandments. But when man disobeyed thee, the true God went to him, and was led astray by the guile of the serpent, becoming subject to death through his own transgressions. Thou, O God, in thy righteous judgment, didst send him forth from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, and providing for him salvation through rebirth in thy Christ himself. For thou didst not turn thyself away forever from thy creature whom thou hast made, O good one. Nor didst thou forget the work of thy hands, but through the tender compassion of thy mercy thou didst visit him in various ways. Thou didst send prophets, thou didst perform mighty works by thy saints, who in every generation were well pleasing to thee. Thou didst speak to us by the mouth of thy servants, the prophets, foretelling to us the salvation which was to come. Thou didst give us the law as a help, thou didst appoint angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, thou didst speak to us through thy Son himself, by whom thou didst also make the ages, who being the radiance of thy glory and the image of thy person, upholding all things by the word of his power, by an not robbery to be equal to thee, the God and Father. Though he was God before the ages, yet he appeared on earth and lived among men, and becoming incarnate of a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being likened to the body of our loneliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For since by man sin entered into the world, and by sin death, so it pleased with thine only begotten Son, who was in the bosom of thee, the God and Father, who was born of a woman, the holy Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, who was born under the law, to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who are dead in Adam might be made alive in thy Christ himself. He lived in this world, and gave us commandments of salvation, and releasing us from the delusions of idolatry, he brought us to the knowledge of thee, the true God and Father, obtaining us for himself as his own people, a royal priest and a holy nation. And having cleansed us with water and sanctified us by the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death, in which we, in which we were held captive, sold under sin, and descended through the cross into hell, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the pangs of death. And when he had risen on the third day, having made for all flesh a path to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible for the author of life to be held by corruption, he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the first born of the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence over all. Ascending into heaven, he sat down at the right hand of thy majesty on high, and he will come to render to every man according to his works. And as the memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these things to be set forth according to his command. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary and ever memorable and life giving death, in the night in which he gave himself up to the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and pure hands. And when he had shown it to be the, it showed it to be the God and Father, and he given thanks and blessed it and hallowed it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the cup and threw the vine, and having mingled it and given thanks, having blessed it and hallowed it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death, you confess my resurrection. Therefore we also, O Master, remembering his saving passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and sitting at the right hand of thee, the God and Father, and his glorious and dread second coming, offering unto thee thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for all. We him to be blessed and give thanks to the Lord.
upon the earth. Make us thy like grace and protection to our souls. No dare to approach, but we all turn presenting the appetites of the holy body and blood of thy Christ. And we pray for all the Lord of the Lord, and these two women. Instead, may we find mercy and grace with all the saints who through the ages have been well pleasing to the ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, teachers, and, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially with our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With the Holy Prophet, Brother Baptist John, with the Holy Lord, so all the apostles, took St.
the uprisings of Pharisees by the power of thy Holy Spirit. Receive us all into thy kingdom. Join us to be sons of the light and sons of the day. Grant us thy peace and thy love, O Lord our God, for thou hast given all things to us. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise and all honor of the majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. <clears throat> our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with thy spirit. And again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. In the precious gifts of all that are sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Accept you today as a communicant, 
for I will not speak of thy mysteries to thy enemies. Neither do I do this, will I give thee a kiss. For the like of the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be healed to my judgment, nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and the body. Amen. Oh, oh. 
Thank you. 
through his grace and love toward mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Praise our God and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, of his most pure mother, of the holy, by the might of the precious and life-creating cross, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, face of the great Archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, whose liturgy we celebrate this day, of our Father among the saints, Tikhon, Patriarch of Moscow, and Lyra of North America, the Confessor, whom we also commemorate this day, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim Madonna, and of all their saints. Verse us and save us for his good, the most mankind. Who is the man who is the most blessed in God, Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada? Who is the eminence, the most reverend Benjamin, Archbishop of San Francisco in the West, the president and the government of this country, the clergy and parishioners of this holy temple and all of the world's Christians? Oh, Lord, preserve them for many years. Trust the joy to serve and celebrate and pray and sing and, and, and thank God for all of you uh, today. We especially welcome all of our guests and visitors, those praying with us uh, for the first time this day. I hope everyone can join us downstairs for a fellowship uh, meal and all the other wonderful activities happening today, including... Um, after the meal, a women's group session with Mother Macarena from Holy Assumption Monastery. Uh, you're very welcome. We have special occasions to commemorate this day, beginning, of course, with the baptism of little Mark and his uh, family. Uh, congratulations to Mark on this beginning of a journey of a life in Christ. We have a baptism anniversary this week of Felicia, birthday of Stacy, and name day of Hugh. Uh, may God grant all of you many years. A prosperous and peaceful life, health and salvation, and further and small blessed things. <laughs> to thy servants, the newly illumined child of God, Mark, to sponsor Zoya and Alexander, parents Anna and Bogdan, and all those gathered in joy. To the servants of God, Felicia, Anastasia, and Hugh, and all those whom we have in mind this day, and preserve them for many years. God grant them many years, God grant them many years, God grant them many, many years. This week um, we have the Divine Liturgy of the Presanctified Gifts on Wednesday evening. As usual, that will be the only service during the week. Um, we have a big choir rehearsal on Saturday and great vespers and liturgy uh, next weekend as usual at 9.30 a.m. This is the season of the year when um, uh, we have, you know, I pointed out that it's the middle of the fast, which means that there's only a certain number of weeks left till Pascha. So if you haven't made your confession yet for Pascha, please do so in the coming weeks. I won't be here personally uh, for some of the week, including Wednesday, but I'll be back Saturday, and I'm always happy to make appointments. If you want to spend a little more time, a little bit more intentionally, that's very welcome. This is also the last call, basically, literally, almost literally, for the Lenten retreat. Uh, please do register today or early tomorrow if you're going to come. I hope you do. Dr. Legaspi is, is one of the um, He's one of the premier scholars of the Old Testament uh, in the world right now, um, and is very inspiring as a speaker, and will encourage you on the remainder of the fast. We will venerate on this special Sunday the cross in the middle of the church, and I'll see you downstairs. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
fear of God. I thank thee, O Lord my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee that thou hast permitted me, though unworthy, to receive thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sake didst die and rise again, and gave us thence these awesome and life creating mysteries for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies, Grant that they may be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the enlightenment of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love on faith, the fulfilling of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the increase of thy divine grace, and the attainment of thy kingdom. Preserved by them and thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace, and live not for myself alone, but for thee, our master and benefactor. May I... Pass from this life in the hope of eternal life, and so attain to everlasting rest. For the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the gladness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages and Creator of all, I thank thee for all the good things which thou hast given me, and for this communion of thy most pure and life creating mysteries. Therefore I entreat thee, O gracious lover of mankind, keep me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings, and grant that even unto my last breath I may with a pure conscience worthily partake of thy holy things, for the remission of my sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. And to thee we ascribe glory to the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Of thine own will hast thou given me thy body as food. O thou who art a fire, consuming the unworthy. Consume me not, O my Creator, but rather enter, enter into my very being, my members, my heart, and my soul. Consume all the thorns of my transgressions. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my thoughts. Make firm my knees and bones. Illumine my five senses. Nail me to the complete fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul destroying words and deeds. Purify me and wash me clean. Adorn me, give me understanding, and enlighten me. Show me to be the temple of thy one spirit and not the dwelling place of sin. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, flee from me as from fire, as I become thy tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner of the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant and child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls, O good one, and to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may thy holy body be for me unto eternal life, and thy precious blood unto remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, at thine awesome second coming, through the prayers of thy most dear mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady, Beotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank thee that thou hast permitted me, though unworthy, to be a partaker of thy most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. O thou who gave us birth to the true life, Grant the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart. O thou who gave us birth to the fountain of immortality, renew life in me who lie dead in sin. O loving mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings. And vouchsafe that even to my last breath, I may without condemnation receive the sanctification of these most pure mysteries for the healing of the soul and body. And grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace. According to thy word, for my eyes have seen thy salvation. Which thou hast prepared before the face of the people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people is thy Holy 
God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, listen and heal our infirmities, that I may say. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 